Good afternoon, student. Hi there. So welcome back to our English class, and I am your English teacher. My name is Teacher Quan. Nice to see you again. All right, student. Now, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Good job. Before we get started with our wonderful program of e notes and Junior Blau English. We are going to sing and dance together. Do you love to sing and dance with me? Yes. Well done. All right now, please stand up, stand up. We are going to sing and dance together. So let's begin with our first song. This song is called Hello Song. So don't forget to stand up like this. Is it sunny? Sunny? Is it sunny? 
Yes, teacher. Good job. Now let's repeat after me. It's sunny. You turn. It's sunny. Well done. All right, student. One more question that teacher wants to know. Can you answer this question? What day is this today? What day is this today? Guess what, student? What day is this today? Is today is Monday? Is this correct? No. Oh no, it's not Monday. Mm, and what about this one? Today is Friday. Is this Friday? No, teacher. Oh no, it's not. And what about this one? Today is Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Well done. Today is Saturday. Now let's repeat after me. Today is Saturday. Your turn. Today is Saturday. Wonderful. All right, now let's move to our wonderful program of Junior Brown English Beginner A3. Chapter 3, Town Bike Tour. And today we are still with the Chapter 3, Bike Tour. Are you ready to see our story from this chapter? Yes. Good job. Now let's move to the story box. So student, don't forget to pay attention with our story. Story box. Let's Chapter see. Chapter 3, Bike Tour. Bike Tour. You have a new bike, says April. It's nice, oh, says it's Ted. Nice. Thank you. Let's ride around the town. April, Ted, and I ride our bikes. Oh, they are wonderful. I see the library. We can stop by the library. I read books. April sees the bakery. We can stop by the bakery. She has some bread. Oh, now she has some bread. Ted sees the police office. We can stop by the police office. He meets police officers. Do you know why? Ted's dad is a police officer. Oh, now they stop at the police office. We see the playground. We can stop by the playground. We play on the jungle gym. We play on the seesaw too. We have a fun time. They have a fun time together at the playground. They play at the jungle gym and the seesaw together. Oh, they look happy. End up of this story. All right, student, we are going to watch this story one more time. And this time we will go by slowly. Let's pay attention one more time. Chapter 3, Bike Tour You have a new bike, says April. It's nice, says Ted. Thank you. Let's ride around the town. April, Ted and I ride our bikes. Alright, student, now let's take a look. Now Amy, she got a new bike. And then April, she said to Amy, Wow, you have a new bike. And move to Ted. Oh, he said it's nice. And then they are going to ride out their bikes around the town. Let's see. I see the library. We can stop by the library. I read books. April sees the bakery. We can stop by the bakery. She has some bread. They bike around the town and then they can stop by the library. So student, can you remember? What are they doing at the library? Read a book. Oh, good job, Amy. She reads book. Excellent. And after that, they can stop by the bakery. So, student, can you remember what are they doing at the bakery? They have some bread. Oh, excellent. They have some bread. And after that, let's take a look, student. Ted 
sees the police office. We can stop by the police office. He meets police officers. Do you know why? Ed's dad is a police officer. All right, and now they can stop by the police office and then Ted, he meets the police officers. So, student, do you know why? Who is he? Ted's dad. Ted's dad. Excellent. And Ted's dad, he is the police officers. We see the playground. We can stop by the playground. We play on the jungle gym. We play on the seesaw too. We have a fun time. All right, and now they see the playground. And then they can stop by the playground. They are playing on the jungle gym. And they are playing on the seesaw. Oh, look at them. They look happy. And they have a fun time together at the playground. All right, student, now end up from this story. Story box. And then the next part, we are going to read the story with part of reading. Are you ready to read? Yes. Good job. Now let's move to reading. Reading. All right, student, this part of reading. Don't forget to listen carefully and then try to read all of the sentence from part of storybooks. All right, now let's begin with the title of this chapter. Listen carefully, student. Bike tour. Repeat after me. Bike tour. You turn. Bike tour. Excellent. All right, now let's move to page one. Listen carefully. This part is a clear. She said, You have a new bike. Repeat after me. You have a new bike. You turn. You have a new bike. Says April. Says April. You turn. Says April. All right. And then move to part of pet. This part he said, It's nice. It's nice. You turn. It's Nike. Says Ted. Says Ted. You turn. Says Ted. Excellent. After that is part of Amy. And this part, Amy, she said. Thank you. Let's ride around the town. Repeat after me. Thank you. Let's ride around the town. You turn. Thank you. Let's ride around the town. That's it. And then move to the next sentence of this page. April, Ted and I ride our bikes. April, Ted and I ride our bikes. You turn. April, Ted and I ride our bike. Excellent. All right, now let's move to the next page of this story. Oh, now let's take a look and listen carefully, student. I see the library. I see the library. You turn. I see the library. Here, student, look at this. This one is the library. And then move to the next sentence. Amy, she said, We can stop by the library. We can stop by the library. You turn. We can stop by the library. Good job. The next one. I, I read books. I read books. You turn. I read books. That's it. And then move to the next sentence. April sees the bakery. April sees the bakery. You turn. April sees the bakery. Student, let's look at this. April. And this one is the bakery. And now Amy, she said. We can stop by the bakery. We can stop by the bakery. Your turn. We can stop by the bakery. Good job. Move to the next sentence. She has some bread. She has some bread. Your turn. She has some bread. Oh, student, now let's look at Amy. She has some bread over there. All right, and move to part of Ted. 
Look at this one. And this sentence is, listen carefully. Ted sees the police office. Repeat after me. Ted sees the police office. Your turn. Ted sees the police office. Excellent. And then the next one. We can stop by the police office. We can stop by the police office. Your turn. We can stop by the police office. Excellent. And then move to the next sentence. He meets police officers. He meets police officers. Your turn. He meets police officers. Excellent. And then the next one. Do you know why? Do you know why? Your turn. Do you know why? And the next sentence of this page. Ted's dad is a police officer. Repeat after me. Ted's dad is a police officer. Your turn. Ted's dad is a police officer. Good on you, student. Now they can stop by the police office and look at him. He is the police officer and he is Ted's dad. All right, now let's move to the next page of this story. Oh, look at them. Guess what, student? Where are they now? Playground. They are at the playground. All right, good job. All right, let's read the story from this page. Repeat after me. We see the playground. We see the playground. Your turn. We see the playground. Excellent. And then the next one. We can stop by the playground. We can stop by the playground. Your turn. We can stop by the playground. Excellent. And then the next sentence. We play on the jungle gym. We play on the jungle gym. Your turn. We play on the jungle gym. Well done. The next one. We play on the seesaw too. We play on the seesaw too. Your turn. We play on the seesaw too. All right, move to the last sentence of this page. We have a fun time. We have a fun time. Your turn. We have a fun time. Wonderful. All right, student. Now let's look at them. They had a fun time together at the playground. So end up from this story. So student, the next part, we are going to practice more with our vocabulary. Can you remember our vocabulary from the story? Yes. Well done. All right, now let's move to part of vocabulary. Vocabulary. And let's begin with my dictionary. Listen and say. This part, we are going to practice our vocabulary by listen and say. So student, listen carefully and then try to say all of the vocabularies over there. Let's begin with the first one. Listen carefully. Library. Repeat after me. Library. Your turn. Library. One more time, please. Library. Library. Your turn. Library. Excellent. All right, now move to the next vocabulary. And this vocabulary is, look at this picture and listen carefully. Bakery. Bakery. Your turn. Bakery. Again, please. Bakery. Bakery. Your turn. Bakery. Well done. All right, let's move to the next one. Look at this picture. And this vocabulary is, listen carefully again. Police office. Repeat after me. Police office. Your turn. Police office. Well done. One more time and louder, please. Police office. Police office. Your turn. Police office. Wonderful. All right. Now let's move to the next vocabulary. Look at this picture. And this vocabulary is... Playground. Playground. Your turn. Playground. Again, please. Playground. Playground. Your turn. Playground. That's it. And then move to the next one. Look at this picture. And this vocabulary is... Jungle gym. 
Repeat after me. Jungle gym. Your turn. Jungle gym. Good job. All right, now let's move to the last vocabulary of this part and this picture. All right, listen carefully. Seesaw. Repeat after me. Seesaw. Your turn. Seesaw. Excellent. Learn more. All right, now let's learn more with our vocabularies. Now, teacher has three more words that we are going to learn. All right, don't forget to listen carefully and then try to repeat after me. Let's begin with the first one. Listen carefully. Bank. Bank. Your turn. Bank. Again, please. Bank. Bank. Your turn. Bank. Well done. All right, move to the next one. And this vocabulary is... Swing. Swing. Your turn. Swing. Excellent. Move to the last part of this one. Sorry. Uh, this is the last vocabulary that we are going to learn from this part. Listen carefully, student. Slide. Slide. Your turn. Slide. One more time, please. Slide. Slide. Your turn. Slide. Excellent, student. Now we're done already with part of vocabulary. And then the next part, we are going to expression. Expression. All right, and this part of expression. Let's begin with the first one. Look and say. Look and say. All right, student, this part of look and say, we are going to look at the pictures over there. Now, teacher have part of Amy and pet. Let's forget with parts of Amy first. Let's look at the pictures over there. And then we are going to say the complete sentence by put all the words over there on the blank. Are you ready? Yes! Good job! And this part, Amy, she will say, listen carefully. I can stop by the... Repeat after me. I can stop by the... Your turn. I can stop by the... Excellent! From this sentence, I can stop by the... And then the blank. This blank, we are going to fill the words on the blank and then read the complete sentence. Let's begin with the first sentence. Listen carefully, student. I can stop by the... Bakery. Repeat after me. I can stop by the bakery. Your turn. I can stop by the bakery. Excellent. All right. Now move to the next sentence. And this sentence is... I can stop by the... Bank. Alright, now let's repeat after me again with this sentence. I can stop by the bank. Your turn. I can stop by the bank. Well done. Alright, let's move to the next one. And this sentence is, listen carefully. I can stop by the police office. Repeat after me. I can stop by the police office. Your turn. I can stop by the police office. Excellent. Now, move to the last place or part of Amy. And this sentence is... I can stop by the... Library. Repeat after me again. I can stop by the library. Your turn. I can stop by the library. Well done. All right. End up or part of Amy. Now move to Ted. Look at him. And Ted, this part, he will say... I play on the... Repeat after me. I play on the... Your turn. I play on the... All right, student. And this sentence, Ted, he said... I play on the... And then the blank. We are going to fill in the words over there. And then read the complete sentence. Let's begin with the first sentence. This sentence is... I play on the jungle gym. Repeat after me. I play on the jungle gym. 
Your turn. I play on the jungle gym. Well done. Move to the next sentence. I play on the seesaw. I play on the seesaw. You turn. I play on the seesaw. Well done. Move to the next one. I play on the swing. I play on the swing. Your turn. I play on the swing. Excellent. All right, now we move to the last sentence of this part. Listen carefully. I play on the slide. Repeat after me. I play on the slide. Your turn. I play on the slide. Excellent, student. And now end up with part of Ted. All right, now. Let's move to the next one. Expression. All right, we are still with part of expression. And the next activities, we are going to listen and check. All right, students, this part of listen and check, we are going to listen the sentence. Now, teacher have two sentences over there. This part is sentences number one. And this one is sentence number two. Let's begin with the sentence number one. Don't forget to listen carefully. and check. Alright student, now let's listen carefully with the sentence number one. I can read books at the library. I can read book at the library. Let's listen it again. I can read books at the library. I can read books at the library. So student, now back to you. Let's choose the correct picture that match to the sentence I can read books at the library. It would be the first picture, the above one or the under one. Which one is the correct one? I can read books at the library. This one, is this correct? No. Oh no, where is this here? Police office. Can you read books at the police office? No, teacher. Oh, no way. And what about this one? Where is this here? Library. Library. Can you read the book there? Yes. All right. Are you sure with this picture? Yes. Let's check it out together. Good job. Good job. This one is the correct one. Now, let me repeat the sentence one more time. I can read books at the library. Repeat after me. I can read books. At the library. Your turn. I can read books at the library. Good on you, student. All right, now let's move to the sentence number two. Don't forget to listen carefully again. I play on the jungle gym. I play on the jungle gym. Listen it again. I play on the jungle gym. I play on the jungle gym. Now, student, back to you. Let's choose the correct picture that match to our sentence, I play or the jungle gym. It would be the first picture. It she plays on the jungle gym. No, teacher. Oh, no, it's not. And what about this picture? Is she plays on the jungle gym. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Good job. Now, let's check it out with this picture. Good job! Good job! This picture is the correct one. Now, let's repeat our sentence. Listen carefully again. I play on the jungle gym. Repeat after me. I play on the jungle gym. Your turn. I play on the jungle gym. Wonderful! Alright, student. Now, end up a part of expression. In the next part, we move to comprehension. <laughs> Fill and say. All right. This part of comprehension is fill and say. We are going to practice it again. All right. And repeat the topic of these activities after me. 
Bike trip to the town. Bike trip to the town. You turn. Bike trip to the town. Good job, student. Can you remember this part of activities? We are going to fill in the words over there. Now, teacher have three words. And then we are going to choose the correct words that match to each sorry that match to each sentences over there. And then we are going to read the complete sentence. Let's begin with the first sentence. Look at this one. And this sentence is I can stop by the Repeat after me. I can stop by the you turn. I can stop by the Alright, good job student. Now look at this picture. I can stop by the... Where is it here? We are going to choose the correct words over there. It would be, I can stop by the playground. Is it correct? Is it playground? No, teacher. Oh no, it doesn't match. And what about this one? I can stop by the bakery. Is this bakery over there? No, teacher. Oh no, it's not bakery. And what about this one? I can stop by the library. Library? Is this library? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, all right now, let's fill in this word. Library. On the blank. Good, Good job. job. Good job. Now we have the complete sentence. And then let's repeat the complete sentence after me. I can stop by the library. You turn. I can stop by the library. Well done. And move to this one. This sentence of Amy. This sentence is... I read books. Repeat after me. I read books. You turn. I read books. Excellent. Alright, now let's move to the next one. This sentence of the purple one. And this sentence is... I can stop by the... Repeat after me. I can stop by the... You turn. I can stop by the... Well done. Back to you again, student. This part, we are going to fill in the correct word on the blank. Which one is the correct one? It would be, I can stop by the play cloud. Is this play cloud? No, teacher. Oh no, it doesn't match to the picture. And what about, I can't stop by the bakery. Bakery, is this bakery? Yes. Yes, all right, now let's fill in this bakery. word. Bakery. On the blank. Good, Good job. job. Good job, this one is the correct one. Now we have complete sentence. Repeat after me. I can't stop by the bakery. You turn. I can stop by the bakery. Good job. And the next sentence is... I have some bread. I have some bread. You turn. I have some bread. Wonderful students. All right, now we move to the last sentence of this part. Look at this picture. And this sentence is... I can stop by the... Repeat after me. I can stop by the... You turn. I can stop by the... Good job. Now, we are going to fill in the correct word. And now we have only one left over there. And this word is play cloud. Our sentence would be... I can stop by the play cloud. Is this correct? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Now, let's fill in this word. Playground. On the blank. I can stop by the... That's it. it. All right, now we have the complete sentence already. Let's repeat this sentence after me. I can stop by the playground. You turn. I can stop by the playground. Well done. And move to the next one. This sentence is... I play on the slide. I play on the slide. You turn. I play on the slide. Well done, student. All right, now end up a part of comprehension. In the next part, let's move to... Look and do. Part of... And this part is look and do. So, student, this part, we are going to read all the sentence over there. And after that, we are going to look and do. All right, let's read first. Draw a circle. Repeat after me. 
Draw a circle. You turn. Draw a circle. Good job. And then number two. This sentence is color the circle. Color the circle. You turn. Color the circle. Good job. And the next sentence is cut out the circle. Cut out the circle. You turn. Cut out the circle. And move to the last step. This sentence is. Show me the circle. Show me the circle. You turn. Show me the circle. All right, student. Now we are going to do. We are going to follow the four step over there. Now, student, if you can, you can find out your paper and then you can find out your pencil. Let's do it together. All right, student. Now, teacher, have the blank paper over there. We are going to do this activity together. Let's find out your pencil. Now, teacher, have the paper and the pencil. First step, we are going to... Can you remember? Draw a circle. Draw a circle. Excellent. Student, now let's draw the circle. Let's do it together. We are going to draw the circle like this. All right, now teacher, have the circle. I draw the circle already. What about you, student? Have you finished with part of draw the circle? Yes. Good job. And what about the next step? Can you remember, student? The next step we are going to? Color. Color the circle. Excellent. Now let's color the circle. Like this, teacher will use red color. Oh, now teacher have red circle. All right, student, you have to fill in the full circle. All right, ta-da, student. Now teacher have the red circles over there. And the next step, number four. Oh, sorry, number three. This step, we are going to cut out the circle. Now, let's fire your scissor. Now, teacher, have this one scissor. All right. And then, we are going to cut out the circle like this. And now, teacher, cut out the circle. All right. And ta-da! Now, teacher, have the red circle. And then, the last step, we are going to... We are going to show the circle. Show the circle. Good on you, student. Now let's show the circle like this. All right. And end up a part of TPL. Look and say. So, student, now let's move to the next part. And this part, we are going to check Look out. and say. And this part, we are going to look and say again. Now, teacher have this sentence. And this sentence is, let's listen carefully. Can stop by the... Can stop by the... This sentence, we are going to fill in the word. At the, at the first one, it would be the name. And now, teacher have... And now, we have... Who is this here? Amy. Amy, the next one. Ted. Ted and April. April. All right. We are going to put all the name over there. And then we are going to fill in the words of places too. Let's begin with the first one. The first place is the... Where is this here? Library. Good job. Let's repeat after me. This one is library. Your turn. Library. Move to the next one. This one is bakery. Your turn. Bakery. And move to this picture. This one is playground. Your turn. Playground. And move to the last one. This one is bank. Your turn. Bank. All right. Now let's look at this first line. Who can stop by the library? Student. Amy. Amy and Ted. Ted. Excellent. Now let's read. The complete sentence, repeat after me. Amy 
can stop by the library. Your turn. Amy can stop by the library. Good job. Move to the next sentence of Ted. And this sentence is would be Ted can stop by the library. Your turn. Ted can stop by the library. Well done. All right, now let's move to the next place. This one. Look at this place. This one is bakery. And student, who can stop by the bakery? Amy. Amy and April. April. Excellent. Now let's read the complete sentence. Repeat after me. Amy can stop by the bakery. You turn. Amy can stop by the bakery. Well done. Move to the sentence of April. And this sentence is April can stop by the bakery. You turn. April can stop by the bakery. Excellent, student. All right, now let's move to the third line. This one. And this is playground. Who can stop at the playground? Amy, Amy Ted, Ted, and April. April, they can stop by the playground. All right, let's repeat the sentence after me. Begin with the first one of Amy. Amy can stop by the playground. Your turn. Amy can stop by the playground. Excellent. Move to Ted. This sentence is Ted can stop by the playground. Your turn. Ted can stop by the playground. Excellent. And move to April. This sentence is April can stop by the playground. Your turn. April can stop by the playground. Excellent. All right, student. Now we move to the last place. And this one is bank. Bank. Who can stop by the bank? Ted. Ted and April. April. Excellent. Now let's begin with the sentence of Ted. This sentence is repeat after me. Ted can stop by the bank. Your turn. Ted can stop by the bank. Good job. And move to our last sentence. And this sentence is part of April. Repeat after me. April can stop by the bank. Your turn. April can stop by the bank. Good on you, student. Now end up with part of check up. Move to the next part of chapter Listen review. Listen and circle. Read, circle, and write. And this part of chapter review, we are going to read, circle, and write. Let's begin with the first sentence. All right, student. Now, teacher have one, two, three, and four sentences that match two, four pictures over there. Let's begin with the sentence number one. And let's look at the picture number one, too. This sentence is would be, we can stop by the bank. Or, we can stop by the library. Where is this here, student, of this picture? Is it the bank? No. Oh, no. And what about, is it the library? Yes, teacher. And then we are going to circle which word, bank or library? Library. It would be library. All right, let's circle this word. That's it. That's it. All right, now we have the complete sentence. Repeat after me. We can stop by the library. Your turn. We can stop by the library. Well done. All right, now let's move to the sentence number two. Here is the sentence number two. And let's look at the picture number two. Who is this here? April. April. Good job. And this sentence it would be she has some bakery. She has some bakery? No. Oh, no. And what about this one? She has some bread. She has some bread. Is she has some bread? Yes, teacher. Yes, well done. Now let's circle the correct word. And that word is bakery or bread. 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 Good job! Good job! All right, now we have the complete sentence. Repeat after me. She has some bread. 
Your turn. She has some bread. Well done. All right, now we move to the sentence number three. Look at the sentence number three. And this sentence, we are going to fill in the correct word on the blank. Look at the picture number three, student. This sentence is would be we play or the jungle gym or we play or the town. We play on the jungle gym. Is this correct? Yes. Are you sure? And what about this word? We play on the towel. No, teacher. Oh, no, it doesn't match. All right, now let's fill in which word? Jungle gym or towel? Jungle gym. Jungle gym. All right. Jungle gym. Good job. Good job. Now we have the complete sentence. And then repeat this sentence after me. We play on the jungle gym. Your turn. We play on the jungle gym. Excellent. All right, now we move to the last sentence of this part. And look at sentence number four. And look at the picture number four too. This sentence is would be, let's ride around the... Oops, now we have only one word left over there. And this one is town. Let's ride around the town. Is this match to this picture? Yes, teacher. Yes, well done. Now let's fill in this town. word. Town. That's it. it. That's it. Now we have the complete sentence. Let's repeat this sentence after me. Let's ride around the town. Your turn. Let's ride around the town. Excellent, student. All right, now we have done already which part of chapter reveal and move to the next part workbook all right student this part is workbook we are going to practice our exercise together so let's begin with page 26 look at page 26 don't forget to find out your pencils colors or maybe you can use some crayons too All right, student, you have to open your workbook on page 26 or open your worksheet on page 26 too. We're going to do these activities together. This part is match and say. We are going to match the pictures over there. Now, teacher have one, two, three, and four pictures. We are going to match the pictures to the correct sentence over there. Let's begin with the first picture. What is she doing? Is she show the circle? Show me the circle. Is this match to this picture? No. Oh no, it doesn't match. And what about this one? Color the circle. Is she color the circle? No, teacher. Oh, no, again. Let's find out another answer. What about this one? Cut out the circle. Cut out the circle. Is she cutting out the circle? No, again. Oh, no, it doesn't match. And what about the last sentence? Draw a circle. Draw a circle. And this picture, is she drawing a circle? Yes. Yes, now she is drawing a circle. And this sentence is matched to this picture. Now, let's draw in the line. From this picture to the correct sentence like this. All right, student, keep following. Have you finished with the first picture? Yes. All right, now we're done already with the picture number one. Let's move to the picture number two. So let's forget with this picture number two and then let's find out the correct sentence that match to this picture. And this one is would be show me the circle. Show me the circle. Is he show the circle? No. Oh no. And what about this sentence? Color the circle. Color the circle. Is he color the circle? Yes. Yes, good job. This sentence is matched to this picture. Now, let's 
match these pictures to the correct sentence by drawing the line like this. Alright, student, keep following. Have you finished with the picture number two? Yes. Well done. Alright, let's move to picture number three. Let's focus with the picture number three, student. And this picture is would be show me the circle. Show me the circle. It is show the circle. No. Oh no, it doesn't match. And what about this sentence? Cut out the circle. Cut out the circle. It is cut out the circle. Yes, teacher. Yes, this one is the correct one. All right, now let's connect this one picture to the sentence like this. All right, now we move to the last picture of number four. Look at the picture number four and only one sentence left over there. Show me the circle. Show me the circle. Is this match to this picture? Yes. Yes. Good job. Now let's connect the sentence to the correct picture by drawing the line like this. All right, student, keep following. And next one, we are going to say the sentences over there. Repeat after me. The picture number one. Draw a circle. You turn. Draw a circle. One more time, please. Draw a circle. You turn. Draw a circle. Good job. And then move to number two. Color the circle. You turn. Color the circle. Excellent. And move to number three. Cut out the circle. You turn. Cut out the circle. Well done. And move to number four. This sentence is show me the circle. You turn. Show me the circle. Excellent, student. All right, now let's move to page 27. Student, look at page 27. This activity of page 27 is look and circle. All right, we are going to circle the correct answer. Let's begin with the question number one, student. And this question number one is, what does Amy do at the library? Repeat the question after me. What does Amy do at the library? Your turn. What does Amy do at the library? Excellent, student. Can you remember from our story? What does Amy do at the library? Is she reading a book? Is she reading books? Or is she sing a song? Or is she cleaning? Which one is the correct one? What does she do at the library? Is she cleaning? No. Oh no. And what about singing? No. Oh no way. And what about read books? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right now, if you're sure with this answer, let's circle the correct answer like this. Amy, she read book at the library. This one is the correct one. Now let's circle the correct answer. Have you finished with part of number one? Yes. Good job. Let's move to the question number two. And the question of number two is, what does April do at the life? Sorry. What does April do at the bakery? Repeat the question after me. What does April do at the bakery? Your turn. What does April do at the bakery? Good job. And student, can you remember again? What does April do at the bakery? Is she hop on one foot? Oh. Hmm. No. Oh no, she didn't hop on one foot. And what about if she has some bread? If she has some bread at the bakery? Yes, teacher. Yes, are you sure? Oh, what about this one? If she paint the picture at the bakery? Is she painting? No. Oh no, now get back to this one. If she has some bread at the bakery? 
Yes. Yes. Well done. This one is the correct one. She has some bread at the bakery. Now let's circle the correct picture like this. All right. Keep following, student. Now we move to the question number three. And this question is, what does Ted do at the police office? Repeat the question after me. What does Ted do at the police office? Your turn. What does Ted do at the police office? Well done, student. And can you remember? What does Ted do at the police office? If he meets the firefighter. No. Oh no, he didn't meet any firefighter. And what about this one? If he meets the nuts. No, teacher. Oh, no way. And what about this one? Is he miss the police officer? Yes. Yes, this one is the correct one. Good on you. Now let's circle this picture. Ted, he meets the police officer. And who is the police officer? Ted's dad. Ted's dad. Excellent, student. All right, keep following. Now we move to the last set. Last question of this part, number four. And this question is, which is not in the chapter? Repeat after me. Which is not in the chapter? Your turn. Which is not in this chapter? All right. Good job, student. We are going to find out the correct picture. That not in the chapter. Look at this one. And student. From our story, is Amy walking across the crosswalk? Is she walking past the crosswalk? No. Oh no. And what about this one? Are they playing on the seesaw? Yes. Oh, this one, yes. And what about are they playing at the jungle gym? Yes, teacher. And which one is not in this chapter? It would be number one. Number two or number three? Number one. Number one. Good job, Amy. She didn't walk close the crosswalk. Now let's circle this picture. That is not in the chapter. All right, student, keep following. Have you finished with part of exercise? Yes. Well done. All right, student. Now let's move to the next part. This part, we are going to practice how to sing our song one more time. Can you remember how to sing our song? Yes! Alright, let's do it again. Listen carefully. Let's ride around the town. We can stop by the library. We can read books. Can 
have some bread. Excellent. Move to the next section. We can stop by the police office. We can stop by the police office. Your turn. We can stop by the police office. Excellent. Move to the next sentence. We can meet. We can meet police officers. Let's repeat. We can meet police officers. Your turn. We can meet police officers. All right. Now we move to the last section of this song. We love our town. We love our town. Your turn. We love our town. Excellent, student. Now let's sing along together with the horse song one more time. Let's ride around the town. We can stop by the library. We can read books. Let's set up again. 